I've managed to get through three of these videos now without once mentioning potatoes. Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, drink this bottle. Today we're doing another Guinness for St. Patrick's Day and after I liked the last one, I'm looking forward to this one. By the way, if you haven't been following these, then there's going to be a couple of cards up in the corner somewhere, and you can watch those as well. They're entertaining and what. This one has a fun label, and it says it's a West Indies porter. Some of those words possibly even mean things. A group of enterprising brewers on a quest to explore new recipes, reinterpret old ones, and collaborate freely to bring exciting beers to life. With originals from an 1801 entry in our brewer's diaries, Guinness West Indies Porters is complex, yet mellow, hoppy, with notes of toffee and chocolate. Much as the milk style that we did previously, it's a slightly lighter beige head on this one, still quite a thick one. No real visibility through the actual beer, it's extremely dark. I wonder what it smells like. Fruitier on the nose, I'm getting sort of a cranberry vibe from this one of all things. Um, sort of a red fruit, slight bit of sort of brown toast perhaps, but um, yeah, no real chocolate or coffee aromas on this one. Uh, I wonder what the taste is. Yeah, this one's a completely different beast. It's quite tannic, there's a little bit of acidity to it. Quite a bit of black licorice on this as well, actually, it has to be said. There is a savouriness to this, which is, um, hmm, quite refreshing and delightful. It's very dark and brooding. There's no real chocolate or coffee notes from this one, so the colour is perhaps leading you down a garden path a little bit, but yeah. It's still quite a, it's a thinking beer. Cola nut kind of a, kind of an aspect to this as well. And there's something slightly leathery about it as well. It's very much a, very much a brooding beer, this. Bizarrely, I think we have another Guinness that I don't mind. Have you guys tried this beer? Let me know down below. Thumb the video if you've enjoyed it, and also do please check out uh, the pre-existing reviews that I've done, of which there are now a fair few. My liver screams at night. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying what I'm doing, and there will be one more Irish beer, and spoilers, it won't be a Guinness. Thank you.